Now I know I said I'm calming down with the bio mutant videos but I also said I will keep you guys up to date with the latest news including patches and somewhat more so today that's what we have we have a brand new patch to the game which adds in some amazing features and much more today we go through it all how's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so this is the bio mutant patch 1.5 and it's releasing today for both pc and playstation 4 slash 5 xbox will follow suit next week okay so pc specific changes here added field of view type setting for selecting between horizontal and vertical field of view Vertical field of view is useful when using a wider monitor to get the correct aspect ratio. By default the field of view is set to horizontal and also fixed crash when temporarily losing contact with the GPU. PS4 specific. Fix some menus not working correctly when enter and back buttons are swapped and progression increased level cap from 50 to 100 people wow that's crazy okay so items and loot in order to improve the loot and experience we've tweaked how the loot generation works to reduce duplicate items and improve variety we have also added several new items which have higher stats than their lower rarity counterparts this means that an item found with a certain rarity can also be found later with a higher rarity and much improved stats and to top it off we have also added a much requested scrap action to the loot screen which should reduce the time spent cleaning up the inventory okay so more things to do with loot added more superb loot variations added higher tier relic and legendary weapon parts that will start dropping at level 50 updated loot generation to provide more variation and less duplicate items added scrap action to loot screen added settings for hiding or showing head items Increased damage of later try weapons to better fit player level and gear. Remove add-on slots from special gear that can't be scrapped, lost or crafted with. Fixed issue which allowed an unlimited material supply to be gained from crafting. Fixed missile cloud to correctly fire on enemy fourth shot during rapid shot in Super Wushi. Updated saw blades to have a lower spread, higher velocity and correct pierce through enemy behaviour. Fixed PC nunchuck being hidden in inspect mode. Fixed issue where it was possible to equip another one handed weapon when the PC nunchuck was already equipped. Fixed issue which caused a valve add on to have higher stats than intended. Reduced resistance values for ancient pants to make other gear more viable. Fixed favorite consumables quick menu being scrambled when there are no free slots available. A fixed automaton health injector cooldown being reset when using automaton boost resulting in automaton health injector only being refilled after resting. Okay so changes to settings and uh, dialogue and narrator you'll see on screen now. I mean there's some changes here well, I don't think they're massively important to state but if you do want to pause the video and read through these you can be my guest. Okay so on to combat added optional lock on targeting for melee combat this is absolutely great added attack animation cancelling to certain moves by using dodge added ability for smaller enemies to throw rocks at the player when mounted added chance for the player to be knocked off their mount when hit added fleeing behavior to player mounts when in combat tweak their porky puff double boulder throw attack now it is possible to dodge the second rock after being hit by the first one. Fixed issue where the player could get stuck in grab animations. Fixed invincibility perk damage multiplier. Fixed stimulus perk damage multiplier. Fixed cases where airstrike would sometimes miss when using clunk fist. Fixed jump attack preventing range attacks while airstriking. Fixed rad wisps being spawned while in menus. Fixed looper looping camp intro cinematic being played when in combat. Fixed issue where scored characters were attempting to target already defeated enemies. Fixed issue which caused Pichu goons to only use kick attacks. Now they use their Pichu nunchucks properly. Fixed issue where rocks thrown using telekinesis would not deal damage. And fixed critical hits from abilities not showing red damage numbers. We also guys have changes to user interface as well as quests. Which again guys, they ain't massively important to mention but if you are interested in these, be my guest and pause the video and read through them. 
Okay, so onto New Game Plus. Added modifiers which somewhat increase the difficulty after starting a New Game Plus game and also additionally for each new subsequent New Game Plus loop. Fixed Aura score not being reset when starting a New Game Plus game. Fixed Plank resources being reset when starting a New Game Plus game. Onto the world. Added respawning enemies to some areas. This is absolutely great guys. It will make the world feel a lot less empty when you've killed more or less every enemy on the map. Increased spawn rate for random encounters, nice. Move wreck ship to the correct map location, fix bio-nuclear 60 area objectives not being completable. Remove locked door blocking access to area objectives in Bang Shouter 9H. Fixed a car that couldn't be looted in Bang Shouter 3J. Fixed a door in Bang Shouter 2G so the anti-radiation suit can be received. And crash fixes, fix crash when a character receives damage, fix crash when player is forced to exit the mechton, fix crash when player climbs up on an enemy, fix crash when launching towards an enemy, and fix crash with narrator commentary. And miscellaneous guys, fixed appearance not being reset when reverting character mutation changes, fixed issue causing the player to take hazard damage while appearing to have maximum resistance, remove bright spots from the pole process that were always visible. Fix the missing extreme label on extreme difficulty save files. Fixed issue where Brog could choke on go blimp and cause the player to become stuck. Fixed issue which allowed fungi to be spawned on oil. Fix some attack sounds having incorrect volume. Increase freefall duration needed for mounts and the player to trigger a hard landing. Fix jitter during mounting animation. Fixed issue with the Mechton door at Gizmo sometimes would be incorrectly closed. Fixed issue where reload animations would trigger and conflict during cinematics. And fixed issue where an incorrect prompt was shown when using Clunk Fist on Moth Nests. And there we have it, guys, for the Biomutant 1.5 patch. Like I said, this should be available for you right now on PC and PlayStation, Xbox will come next week. But some decent changes, I'm not going to lie, I like the level cap increase, I like the changes to loot, I like the fact that they're actually allowing enemies to respawn around the map, random enemy encounters, pretty good. So yes guys, that is that for another Bio Mutant video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.